Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and I hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Trisha. I'm a cool mama and a young wife. And in today's video, I have a top five highly rated and overrated items. So if you're interested and you saw the thumbnail and there was something that caught your eye and you want my feedback on it, then keep on watching. You don't want to miss this. So I decided to be fair and make this video pertaining to the first item we received versus the last item. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Fisher Price Infant Rocker. Now I do want to go and start by saying this item was gifted to us by a co-worker of my husband's. Shout out to you girl. Um, <laughs> we definitely still have it. This was purchased and given to us three years ago but this particular item has stuck with us for three years. So I do want to go ahead and start with the pros first. Now I could not find the exact print of the one that's in this video and I will have some video clips but I did find some very similar and actually some I think they've made a cuter design too with the fabric um, and I, I found from about 30 to 40 dollars this Fisher Price infant rocker um, is listed. I do want to link the cutest design that I came across from Amazon in the description box if you want to take a look at it but so let's get to how this works. It is a perfect affordable rocker I, you do have a vibrating feature on it that we actually didn't use for our twin boys, uh, but we did actually start to using it with our newborn son now. Um, and even the boys, they do like to use it now. We just didn't feel the need to use the vibrating feature, but now that we do know that it's there, we've added the batteries to it. I believe they're C batteries. Our kids sit in it. They enjoy cutting it on every now and then. My newborn is a hit or miss with it. Sometimes he likes it, sometimes he doesn't. What I do like about this rocker is it does have seating options. So you can have it seated up where the baby has more of an upright position. You can uh, lay it back just a little bit. So the baby's still kind of upright. He's not fully laying down, but he is more relaxed back. Um, I also want to go ahead and share that there is a bar at the bottom of the seat that you can make it into an actual rocker. Now I do want to note that you do have to manually use it with your feet or your hands or however. Um, it does not, you know, it, you do have to manually do it yourself. You can push the bar back up and place it so where it's like a seat and it doesn't move. We typically use it not as a rocker per se. I would say right now we use it more so as like a seat for our little one. Our toddlers use it as seats. If our if uh, Jeffrey's not in it, they'll sit in it. So I will say if you're looking for something that's affordable for a toddler and even, and yes, a newborn, I would definitely say it's a great buy. Um, speaking of the and newborn though, I will say we do have, my mom bought um, Jeffrey a like little neck cushion. She bought one for Jeffrey. And so sometimes if he's not using it, uh, around his neck we do kind of put it a little bit under his butt because the rocker is a pretty decent size uh, our Jeffrey is two months going on three months now I also want to add it does come with a detachable toy bar so we actually don't have the toy bar anymore um they it was kind of in the way for us you know picking the baby up, putting him back in, vice versa. So we just removed it. Um, we don't really miss it. It's a great added feature if your baby's gonna be into that. I found myself and my husband oftentimes taking the toy bar off first and then getting him out. But I will say the pro of the fabric is it's very easy to clean. It's very easy to remove. Um, there are a little, um, I don't wanna say holes, but it's it's they're made to where you can easily like one by one take off the fabric if you wanna throw it in the washer or if you wanna hand wipe it with a, a wipe of some sort. Um, both are options, They it works really well for the infant rocker. So if you're thinking about like the cleaning of it, you could easily remove it, easily attach it. I am not one to like to remove things to clean them, but it's very easy. I've done it a numerous amount of times. But overall, I think that's the main points I wanted to address for this first review which is again the Fisher Price Infant Rocker. So the next thing we ended up purchasing we actually purchased this and it is a car seat slash stroller. So you already know it is the Duna car seat stroller. <laughs> um, so we purchased this maybe about when I was six to eight months pregnant somewhere in between there. Um, we had the Chico 360 
um, for, we had the Chico brand for my daughter, our, well, for her daughter and our twin boys. Um, we actually were gifted as well for a baby shower for Amelia, the Chico uh, stroller and car seat set. It was actually a neighbor, totally surprised us, we, uh, Mr. Ron. He, so we were so grateful, so surprised by it and we loved it. Um, Amelia used it and actually Zachary used it as well. We did buy another Chico car seat for, um, our son Jacob because obviously we had twins. Um, so I'm saying that to say that's the kind of brand that we were using before we decided to go with the Duna. The first thing I want to talk about is the price. Now this is a pricier item. Um, we actually didn't buy it brand new. We had a budget and we said we wanted to spend no more than $400 on it. Uh, brand new it is $550 I believe and you can buy it online new for numerous different places. Amazon has them. You can do it, buy them off Duna. Um, but like I said, we didn't want to spend that much if we didn't have to. So we looked around and I came across a Facebook marketplace uh, ad post and um she wanted 350 for it and the great thing about it was it was red it was the red was hard to find so when i came across the red one i was like this is it um and then even on the marketplace you're still gonna come around no less than 300 i would be very shocked right now if you found a duna for under 300 dollars. But, but also keep in mind too also keep in mind that it is a two for one so that's why i went for it you have a um car seat feature of it and then you can prop it up as a um stroller the first thing that i do for myself is i normally now keep it in my car so i pretty much transport my baby from the house to the car seat in the car i don't really take it out um we have a kins wagon so i would recommend honestly what has worked best for me is having like a secondary stroller one that you don't have to keep in your car or your truck one that you keep in your house um in your garage wherever and if you want to go on walks or if you go to the park with your kids um pull out the bigger stroller and take or pull out another stroller and take your little one that way if you're going somewhere like the grocery store appointments keep the duna in the car seat base keep it there and then just pull it out when you need to i, I don't take the duna out of the house out of the car unless i'm running errands but to get to and from the house i just take them out it's you, you might think I'm crazy, but he is, he sits right behind me in the car. I just get out, pull him out. Um, if that's not something you're looking for, then keep in mind that the Duna is a heavy car seat. I mean, it's pretty heavy. Like I have to prepare myself to push it in. <laughs> like it is. And there is a feature on the base that's a little tricky so it's a certain way that you have to have the car seat um before the car seat will even lock itself in the base so keep that in mind like if you're not thinking about it um you may be putting your baby in the base of the car seat and it's not even locking and you won't know unless you're going to pick the car seat up so um there is a, like i said there i'm trying to put a picture on the screen or a video clip of what i'm talking about but for the um for our previous car seat sets with the base it was a literal you just lock it in and it once it was in it was in but because this is a stroller feature as well the system is made to like the way the handle is that is going to have a lot to do with the way it locks or doesn't lock um with the stroller speaking of the handle um, there's certain ways that when you are folding the duna or or releasing the duna stroller the handle has to be certain ways or it will not lock. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best way I can say it, but there's times where if I have the stroller feature and I'm trying to go the car seat route, if the handlebar is not placed a certain way, it will not lock for me to get it down to the floor for as a car seat versus the same way if I'm trying to take the car seat to make it a stroller the handle has to be the certain way for it to lock. Well, one pro I do like about it though is once you have it as a stroller getting it out of the car you actually I found myself I didn't realize this to even be a thing I don't even need a extra seat at a restaurant or I don't even have to worry about it sitting on the floor at a doctor's appointment like 
you can literally once you get it out the truck or out your car it is a stroller like you you don't have to worry about if you're going to put it in a buggy if you're a mom of multiple if you're a parent of multiple what i have found to work really well i let my daughter actually push the duna so she's four years old and the handle does obviously have an adjustable and so i put it to the lowest point and my daughter is able to push it around so she'll push him and then um i push the cart with the boys in it and our groceries or whatever i need the cart for I just want to say like I just never thought that I would be actually be able to make that work it's very lightweight as far as the push um, she can push it no problem she pushes it right alongside me or right in front of me another thing that kind of gets me and another reason why I don't like to take the Duna out unless I'm going somewhere is because the um, wheels do get dirty because it does pick up snow and it does pick up dirt and it does pick up grime just like any stroller would all strollers are going to do that but the biggest difference is it's a stroller in a car seat and so you do have to be mindful about keeping the wheels a little more cleaner because it's not something that's just going to go in the garage when you're not using it or something that's not just going to stay in the trunk you know it's actually in the vehicle with you it's always where the baby goes now on a sunny day it's not bad at all um maybe when it rains just because again you're picking up dirt with the wet on the wheels as far as how it cleans it's easy to clean i haven't thankfully i haven't had any like super bad issues where i've had to clean it um so i haven't removed the cover or anything if there's any cleaning that i need to do it has been spot cleaning i do believe i'm not 100 sure but i do believe that the weight of uh, average on it is about 30 to 35 pounds which i think is a standard for an infant car seat but overall, great buy. I would highly recommend it. Highly satisfied that we purchased it. I, my husband has mentioned to me that he's glad that we did purchase it. Um, I was more the one that wanted it at first and he got on board with it too. Especially when we bought the baby home. Um, it was just very easy and very convenient to be able to just push the baby out, um, you know, from the hospital. So that was pretty cool too. With, other, with our other kids, we actually, you know, he carried the car seat in and out of the hospital but with this he just kind of like breathed out walking out with it it was pretty cool totally random but i wanted to go and add that <laughs> so the next thing i wanted to go is shifting gears a little bit um i am very big being a mom and breastfeeding on like certain bottles now we've tried over the years many different bottle brands we we were big on Dr. Brown. Um, our My OB in Oklahoma, I remember he mentioned those. Um, Dr. Zweig, he mentioned Dr. Brown at the time. So we got those sets of bottles. I even tried the Breeza bottles. Um, I loved those bottles, but they were discontinued. And then we tried the Chico bottles, which we liked those too. They were kind of made chunky style like the Breeza bottles I didn't even look for those this time because they weren't really that cute they just they were for breastfeeding babies they had that same concept um of the way they were made but since I had the Duna stroller and it was red I wanted to kind of find something that matched it so I did some google searching and I came across these uh Mimi Jumi and I may be saying that totally wrong Mimi Jumi Mimi Jumi I think it's m-i-m-i-j-u-m-i -I -I. um but these are so cute you guys so let me just go ahead and just give you the rundown on this review of the bottles and not only are they super cute they work wonderfully for our breastfed baby so let me just go ahead and tell you a little bit about them though because there's a catch <laughs> I want to go ahead and start by saying these bottles are expensive. You can either buy one for $20 or you can buy two for $35 or you can buy four for $70. And at first I was like, what? But I'm not going to lie, you guys, the design caught my attention. The concept caught my attention. And I was like, I'm going to just buy four and just start there and see at how I like them after that. <laughs> um, so we did that. We bought four of the Mumi Jumi breastfeeding bottles. Um, and I love them. He hasn't tried any bottles since um, besides the breastfeeding bottles that came with our pump. He hasn't used any other bottles except the Mumi Jimmy bottles. Um, you just have to be consistent. And now he, as soon as he gets it in his mouth, he treats it almost as good as he does my chest 
what I mean by that is he does take to it so yeah so just again be consistent that's the first thing I want to say about this bottle if you're gonna spend the money on this bottle don't give up on this bottle we actually got them from Amazon but one thing I liked about it is if you order them from the actual site you can get different color breast bottles breast nipples quote unquote I did go for like a uh, for the neutral because like I said Amazon we purchased it from Amazon they only gave you one option but if you are um, a woman of deeper skin color and you want to get like a deeper colored breast nipple you can totally do that I just thought that was really cool they only have red from what I remember I overall love the design I love that it was full of red I just don't see a lot of bottles uh, that are the color red and I love red so um, the top is red there's a um, a silicone base for the bottle it's red and then the wording on the bottle is red um, I just loved all the red oh again I love them I love the design I love the sleekness it works really well for our newborn I do want to say too he is again almost three months I've already had to add some rice um to his milk and the rice does not get stuck it does not get clumpy that was something that I had an issue with for the Dr. Brown and the Breeza bottles um the, the rice would get stuck in the nipple um yeah so another thing that I've caught is my well, again my baby is two months old almost well, going on three months old and he's already trying to grip it um with when he's when he's drinking the milk he's already trying to grip the bottle I think it's because a little bit of the way the bottle is shaped um he does it more so with the smaller size they have a five ounce and I think an eight ounce bottle now I do I did read that babies at six months is when they start to hold their bottle so he's way too early to hold his bottle but the fact that he's already trying to grasp and hold on to it as he's eating I think is another reason why I would say I do like these bottles because he's already trying to get that kind of of concept as far as holding the bottle on his own um I think that's about it for this one though I mean there are baby bottles so it's not too much to talk about so the next thing I want to talk about that we did buy um uh, this is probably that purchase that I was like we might have not we might have didn't have to get this one <laughs> just being honest it's the docatot now i got sucked into the look overall it was just super pretty i got the white one it just it looks like something that you just want to spend money on for your new baby right like it was one of those like i'm not sure if he's gonna use it but everybody's got it and i want to see how good this is and so we bought it and it's not a total miss if you're a traveling family it's good for that being able to put your baby in a tight spot if they're napping um if your baby loves to be you know babies are supposed to be on their backs so it is good in the sense that it is something that if you need to put your baby in in a very quick time and you have it handy it's good if you have money to blow go ahead sister go ahead and make this purchase for the docket tot but if you don't have money to blow i'd probably say this just skip it like it's not necessary or buy one that's less expensive we use the boppy just as much as we use the docket tot we actually might use the boppy more than we use the docket tot the docket tot is really for show i think it's a really a look type of uh product you know it is really good if he's in a deep sleep and it's like because it's so narrow it kind of like makes me feel like i think he's in between something um the side the way the sides are made if you, if you need to put your baby someplace safe a good thing i've used it for is if i'm doing laundry on the bed and I, and he's awake i might put him in it and he's looking at me while i'm doing laundry i think they're overpriced this is probably one of the overpriced items i was mentioning in the beginning of the video because other than the cute style of it the way it looks if you want to use it and get your money's worth you can but i just don't think it's something that you have to have like you don't need it so the good things about it though is it does come with a handle so you can carry it around easily throughout the house it also comes with a storage bag um to kind of keep it neat keep it clean keep it the structure because the structure is something i've noticed i actually did look for used ones online and a lot of them had like the structure of it if you don't keep the cardboard at the bottom or if you don't keep it placed away 
it does lose structure and it just looks sloppy. It's easy to clean for my husband. I don't like to take it out. I don't like to un. It has a zipper and you just take it, take the fabric off, and then it's like a cushion. I've never done it. I don't plan to do it. My husband's done it. If I've got, if he's gotten spit up on it somewhere, I wipe it off, do it right away. You'll be good. But I don't, I don't machine wash it. Ours still looks pretty good. Like I'll go get mine. Let me just show you right quick. All right. So real quick, real quick, this is ours. I'm going to show you this overpriced bad boy. <laughs> like, okay. So for instance, like right now that I'm doing this video, I could like put this right next to me and he could just lay in it so i'm talking trash but we just don't use it and so if you if you buy if you buy it buy it with the intent that you're going to use it i think that's that's the nicest way to put it this purchase because it could just easily go unnoticed um if you don't make the time to use it i'm gonna just end it right there on that one the last thing I want to review and honestly between the Dakota and this next item was kind of where I was with like do I want to buy them or not last one was the last one we bought I bought the so I'm getting ready to talk about it we bought this one about two or three weeks before he was born and it we didn't even open it until about a week or two after he was born but it is the four moms Mamaru the latest edition which I think it was mom maybe the, the fourth edition so we have the four moms downstairs in our dining room he sits in it when we're eating he sits in it when we're in our dining room area um we used to transport it my husband it's not heavy so i do want to say that it's not a heavy it, it looks heavy um but it's not like once you pick it up and you feel comfortable having it placed in your arms and maneuvering with it it's not hard at all to carry around so price point wise this the four moms was 240 dollars on amazon i do think it was a great buy um now this is an item that a lot of people were like my little one didn't use it but i'm going back to consistency you guys you have got to try don't just take your baby out and never put it back in when it don't work the first time you know what i mean you got to keep doing it because jeffrey our newborn he was the same way i almost was upset that we bought the four moms because for a little while he did not like sitting in it at all so i've already told you guys the price is about 240 dollars. i believe you could buy it used for a hundred dollars they are not very well um how, the value doesn't hold well on these at all this was something when i looked for used i mean like i said brand new is 240 dollars. i could probably find one on marketplace for 80 easily i don't care how clean it is i don't care if you say you never used it you might can do a little bit better if you say you never used it or if you have original boxing but not much i mean people even mercari i'm pretty big on mercari like looking online easily i mean with shipping maybe 120 dollars. you know what i mean like it was at least half of the brand new pricing so um i don't know if it has a lot to do with the motor for me i didn't feel comfortable buying it used because of the motor because a lot of people would say they had issues with it um with the way it runs some people said it had sound issues um it was a lot of negatives of, i've seen overall when i look for reviews on it about the memory so i think that might be why a lot of people are quick to say baby only used it three or four times maybe only used it a handful of times um and i think that's to say like that the motor is fine but you still you don't know until you get it i will say like my daughter she's probably 30 pounds and i don't even like her sitting in it because when she sat in it one time it just had like a noise to it like when she sat it just didn't I don't know like it didn't it didn't sound right when she said it if you, if you really are like my son or my daughter is really not liking this they really are not using if you already have it and you're just like why is it not working I would say pay attention to if your child enjoys car rides but if you're if your child enjoys car rides your child's gonna like this device um hands down you just gotta figure out what what setting he likes 
for us, I noticed he likes kangaroo setting. Um, but there's other settings. Just pay attention. Also, pay attention. Pay attention. Does your baby like you to bounce? Does he like for you to rock side to side? Is he like for you to rock up and down? Because I will say I did contemplate getting the original, the classic for moms, the one that just goes um, back and forth. And I still actually may get it because he does like that motion um, as well. So. That is also, I think, only $180 if you're thinking about One it. One catcher, of, let me just say really quickly, it is really cute looking. Like, it's very modern for sure. And that's going to be an eye catcher. It was an eye catcher for me. Besides everybody, like, ranting or raving about it, the overall look of it was really nice. It does have a detachable bar that also comes with three balls. We removed the balls because my kids, the older kids, they all wanted to play with them. So it doesn't even have the balls in the videos that you're going to see. It's the balls are in there. You know, a lot of times people, when they resell it, they don't have that included. And that's okay because it's not necessary. We have the bar and we don't even use it. So uh, I think the, the main gist of a newborn infant is just having that rockability or even having that seat, that comfortable seating for them. Speaking of the seating, there I do like the feature that you can have the baby kind of upright or the baby could be kind of more like a sleeping position. Um, it's a very simple um, placement on the back. It's just it's a gray, you pop it up, you can go up or down, and then you just pop the gray back down, um, and then it's in lock mode. So I do like that. It's very simple, very easy, and you do have like the different two ways that you can kind of have the baby positioned. Um, in in the four moms. I do also like it's an easy power button. The power button is a is a fairly decent size and you can literally I don't I haven't mastered it with shoes on but without shoes if you just have your you know toes out or if you have socks on you can just push it with your feet and you don't have to bend all the way down to turn it on or off and usually it's the same mode that you left it on unless you have kids that like to play with it then there's that. So um, that's very easy. It has a Bluetooth. Um, another thing is it does have a universal adapter. It's not battery operated. It's a, again adapter. And I just wanted to quickly talk about the top five highly rated or unrated um, items that we have for our baby just to kind of give you guys some tips and tricks and pointers and just opinions that we have or that I've had over these items. And for the most part, everything we bought, we've been able to use. I just want to make this video I am all the way curious to what you guys have to say about it. Um, follow me down in the comment section if you haven't already. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.